Welcome to the Orinoco River, one of the most important rivers in the country of Venezuela and the third largest river in the world due to its volume of water. This river is over 2,500 kilometers long and it runs through three countries, Brazil, Colombia, and Venezuela. The Orinoco is split into four different regions, the upper, middle, lower, and the delta region, which is the area that we will be exploring over the next few days with one of the most trusted tour companies in the area, the Orinoco Delta Lodge. This region of the river is home to an indigenous tribe known as the Warao, which we will be learning a lot more about over the course of the next few days. And it is also home to species of animals that can only be found here in this remote part of the world, such as the Toninas del Orinoco. What's up everybody? Welcome to a beautiful day here in Maturin, Venezuela. Now we actually got here yesterday after making about a 40 minute flight journey from the capital city of Caracas. Now we only spent one night here in Maturin and today we're heading to a very remote part of the country known as Rio Orinoco del Delta. Now Rio Orinoco is one of the most important rivers here in Venezuela and today we're going to be making the journey to the Orinoco Delta Lodge which is going to be quite an exciting journey. We're going to be kicking it off with a bus ride that's going to take roughly two hours and then we'll be traveling upstream on the Rio Orinoco by boat until we make it to the lodge. We just made it off that bus ride. It only took about an hour and a half, and right now we're getting our first glance at the Rio Orinoco. Now, what's about to happen now is we're actually about to board a boat and make about a one hour journey over to the Rio Orinoco Delta Lodge, which is actually where we're gonna be staying for the next few days. And they are actually the company who have completely coordinated this trip. They've taken care of accommodation, transportation, the boat rides, everything you could possibly need for this journey has been put together by them i'm really excited here behind me is actually the rest of the group maybe you'll get the chance to meet them later on in the video i'm not too sure how camera friendly they are yet let's throw our bags onto the boat and start this one hour journey up river to the delta lodge so i have found this group of locals that are selling these hats that are made out of straw i actually forgot to bring us a hat and i was told to bring a hat the sun is going to be hitting hard so I'm gonna go ahead buy one of these. They're five US dollars. I'm gonna give them a 20. Permiso? Tienes a cambio? 15? 15? Ah, perfecto. Gracias. <laughs> So our guide is saying that it's actually going to rain, so he's going over this tarp on us right now so that we're protected from the rain. Guys, we have officially arrived to the Orinoco Delta Lodge. What a crazy adventure. That was such a fun boat ride. I'm excited to explore this place. As soon as you make it off the boat at the Orinoco Delta Lodge, you will be greeted by friendly smiles from all of the incredible staff and of course a fresh coconut. After that, you will get a nice little brief to tell you a little bit about the history of the river and the lodge before making your way over to the cabana. So we have officially made it into our cabana that we're gonna be calling home for the next three days. Now, all of the cabanas actually have different names. I believe they're indigenous names. Ours is called Yakara, and this cabana can easily sleep four. This room consists of one queen bed, 
two twin beds, a bathroom, a hammock, and all of the beds have mosquito nets because we are in the middle of the jungle and you do need mosquito nets because here in the late evenings due to the river, mosquitoes come out like crazy. Now along with the bathroom, you also have a nice beautiful desk, a mirror, and they did provide us with water bottles. So now that I got done showing you guys our little cabana or little hut, whatever you'd like to call it, now it's time for us to head on over to where we actually checked in because that is where the dining room is as well. We're gonna be having some lunch before jumping on into the river swimming. And I believe the first day here at Orinoco Delta, we're just gonna be taking it real easy, chilling here, enjoying some of their facilities. And then later on tonight, we're gonna be heading out to watch the sunset. Our first meal at the lodge consisted of a nice lentil soup with caramelized onions, a piece of meatloaf, some mashed potatoes, and of course, mixed veggies. And all of that needed to be accompanied by a nice Venezuelan beer. Wow, guys, that meal was absolutely incredible. Definitely wasn't expecting to be eating a nice meatloaf with mashed potatoes out here. I thought we were going to be eating fish or just what the locals eat, but no, they put together an amazing meal for us. I'm really looking forward to the remaining meals now while I'm here. You guys know me. I love to eat, so if the food good, I'm good. Now, we're actually about to hang out now. We got about two to three hours to kill before we head out for sunset. Now, surprisingly, it's not raining. It looks moody out here. It looks like it should be raining, but it's not. It's nice, dry, it's beautiful. It's not overly hot, which is really, really nice as well. I'm excited. I think it's time for us to take this shirt off and jump on into this river right behind me. Oh man, guys, we just took a nice jump into the water and this feels incredible. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I was a bit nervous because of all the animals that do exist in here, but Gladys had a good point. What did you have to say, Gladys, about the Rio? You're in the most important river of Venezuela. I have to swim in it, right? You must. <laughs> Let's enjoy a nice swim, guys. Wow, guys, that water felt so good. We just got done swimming. All of us joined on in on the fun, and we just spent about the last hour and a half in there. Now we're about to jump back onto the boat that we first came out here on and go and catch the sunset. Super excited. Man, this place is so much fun. So we just stopped here in the middle of the river because our guide just pointed out that there is actually a very specific species of dolphin. I forget the exact name, but they live here in the Rio Orinoco and hopefully we can see some. Orinoco, la vas a llegar, Rio Hermoso, de la Ullante Pugues, auténtico guardián. We just stopped in an area of the river known as La Piscina and we were actually told that we can jump on in. As you can tell, the girls didn't waste any time. Now it's my turn to jump on in. Una cerveza por todos! Nice little swim. Now we're gonna fresh off with a nice beer. This here is a local beer from here in Venezuela. It's called Solera. And I just found out that it's the strongest beer in Venezuela as well. It's 6%, so might have to throw a few of these back. <laughs> That's good. The sun is setting. It's starting to get dark. I think this is actually where we're going to wrap up today's adventure. And I'll see you guys bright and early tomorrow as we explore more of the Rio Orinoco with the Delta Lodge. See you guys tomorrow. What an amazing morning it's been so far. Spent the first hour flying the drone and just admiring the calmness of the river. 
I also laid in the hammock a bit and right now the rain has started rolling on in. I have a feeling that it's going to be a rainy day here today on the Orinoco, but either way, I'm super excited. Right now, breakfast is about to make its way on out and I couldn't be more stoked. Breakfast today is looking like we got a nice quiche, some potatoes, a nice little fried plantain, some cheese, looks like bacon of some sort, and pancakes. And of course, we got a nice fruit assortment, some juices, water. This is gonna be good. That breakfast was absolutely incredible. Now it's time for us to get ready for today's adventure. Now. It looks like it's gonna be raining most of the day, so I'm gonna grab my windbreaker. Here at Orinoco Delta Lodge, they actually provide you with rain boots for our nice hike that we're gonna have through the jungle. And then we'll be boarding this beautiful boat once again right behind me. Del gusano de moriche. Uy, ya va a parar. Mira lo que tenemos por aquí, gusano de moriche. De la palma de moriche. ¿Y qué? ¿Lo comes? Lo comes. ¿Quién lo va a comer? No, lo comiste con cabeza, pana. Quítale la cabeza. Quítale la cabeza. ¿Qué es mantequilla? Como una garaza. Se pasa. So guys, these here are gusanos de qué? Oh no! And I guess you eat this. Wow, that's so weird. Chris, come lo. Chris, come lo. Come lo, Chris. Eat it, bro. I give you twenty. Yeah. Yeah. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Come lo, Chris. Bro, eat it. Eat it, Chris. Acá, desde el Delta del Orinoco, vamos a probar algo que hay que hacer una vez en la vida, por lo menos, como dice mi amiga aquí, Gladys. Así que bueno, me voy a probar esto: uno, dos y. ¡Vamos, Es. No tiene un sabor tampoco invasivo. Sí, es, es como algo como un mantequilloso, pero es pura proteína. Así que vamos a estar fuertes. She's crazy, guys. So, that was insane. I definitely wasn't going to try one of those, but they are selling all kinds of artesian goods. Estos lo hacen ustedes. De de palma de qué? ¿Cómo se llama la palma? Moriche, moriche. Moriche, palma de moriche. Wow, these are super, super cool. Anytime you get the chance to help out a local community, it's always good to. ¿A cuántos están estos? Cinco. ¿Y estos? ¿A cinco? Cinco también. Wow, esto está super cool. Look at this. It's like a toucan. You know what? I'm going to pick one of these up. Gracias por todo. Gracias. Bye. Gracias. Adios. So our guide just pointed out that there's actually cacaos here and they're known as cacaos falsos or fake cacaos because they're not the same cacao that's used for chocolate. These ones here actually don't have much use at all. And right now he's going to open one up for us. Fuerza, fuerza. Wow, cool. ¿Y cómo se abre este vaina? Eso parece yuca, fíjate. ¿Con eso hacen algo, Clemente? No, no, nada. Pues parece que tiene agua. Sí, bota como leche. ¿Con qué lo, con qué lo abrimos? El que... No será venenoso, ¿no? No. Mírale qué mira, falso. Mira, no, no sí. Es falso. No, mira. Pero eso... Va a sonar chinazo, pero eso ni siquiera se chupa. Como el sí, se sí, muele y se chupa. Sí, se chupa. ¿Sí? Muele y lo chupa. Sí, pero pero lo me que imagino sabe. que debe ser muy ácido. Wow. No, no, no. Muélelo tú y chúpalo. Mira, yo no probé el gusano de moriche, pero sí voy a probar el falso cacao. Bueno, Clemente. Yo puedo de adentro. ¿A qué sabe? ¿A qué sabe? A nada. 
Hulk. Time has come to finally jump off the boat and now start this adventure by foot. I'm excited. Whoa! I lost my shoes! No! Gracias, bro! Pero ninguna se monta. Se monta esta. Ayer va, bueno. Una mentica ahí. Son mentica. Si, excelente. Our guide just got done cutting this branch and he said this is fresh filtered water. No, si es un poquitico. Si es un poquitico amargo. Bueno, es amarga porque sabe un poquito madera. Si. Pero si es dulce. Wow! Good. Wow guys, just made it back from that little hike. I must say it was brutal. It was really, really humid, but beautiful, man. Overall beautiful. I do want to say what a big difference from the people that actually live here. Our guide, not one drop of sweat. And me, my shirt is retired for the evening. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, you sweaty shirt. Hopefully we get a chance to jump into the river now. Now the time has come to jump into the water and freshen off just a bit. Now our guy jumped on in, he's actually standing so it's pretty shallow here and they're actually cooking our dinner or our lunch over in that area. Cheers bro! Cheers. Okay the river here is definitely a lot chillier, a lot more cold than in front of the lodge that we're staying in. But man it feels good. Feels good especially after coming out of that jungle and sweating your butt off. Think we're gonna hang out here for a little bit and then we're gonna head over and go check out the fish that they're preparing for us. Tienes más cosas para vender? No, 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 el, el plato? Ah, es la única que tienes? Okay. Well, I don't think that they actually speak Spanish. A lot of them just speak the local native tongue, but they've paddled out to us to try and sell us a few items and I want to help them out. I want to buy some things and I want to show you guys what they have. Hola. ¿Qué son estos? ¿Estos son platitos? ¿Para comer? ¿Para comer? ¿Sí? Wow, qué cool. ¿De qué, de qué es? What is it made out of? ¿De qué es? Moriche. Es un árbol. Oh, okay. So it's made out of a palm tree. Hoja de moriche. Now, these are really, really cool. How long, cuánto dura hacer esto? Una semana. Una semana? Wow, one week. That's super cool. So I really like that one. You know what? I think I'm actually going to go ahead and take this bracelet or this necklace here because this necklace is really, really cute. I like it. I'm going to take this necklace y me voy a llevar esta dos. El diez. No, no cinco, es diez. Está bien. Así está bien. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. So she actually thought this was a five dollar bill, but this is a ten. You know, here we don't do people like that. This is a ten dollar bill. Muchas gracias. Bye, babies. Tengas un bonito día. Bye. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. So my camera actually died while I was in the water, but what an incredible adventure that was. Doing a little bit of shopping with the locals. Right now they actually just got done preparing some fish for us. Let's see what this looks like. Wow, it looks amazing, right? Eso sale del rio, bro. De este rio. Wow, cool. So those fish come out of the river now. For those of you guys who know me, man, I'm not a big fish eater, so I'm not gonna be partaking in that. They did prepare for me a nice little meal right here, but wow, am I impressed with all of the artesian goods we bought today. We just made it back to the lodge and everybody is already back into the water. It doesn't matter that the storm is rolling in, that the rain is coming. It is a perfect time to jump into the river. So. That's exactly what I'm about to do. I'm gonna take my shirt off and join the rest of the party. And I think I'll see you guys a little later on to catch the sunset.
That breakfast was absolutely incredible. And now it's time for us to start today's adventure. So we're actually gonna be heading out today on a canoe to go and find some artesian goods. Now I have my hat that I purchased yesterday to keep me blocked from the sun because I did fry. And I have a feeling today is gonna be extremely fun, just like the past few days. So we're just making it into the small tunnel section right now. And look, we're literally going through all this vegetation into the middle of nowhere. This is exciting. What an adventure, man. Really, really cool, right? Now, he just got done explaining a little bit about the snake and released it right back into the wild. No snakes were harmed. These people are professionals and it was for educational purposes. So now to continue on with the trip. So we just made it back in front of the lodge, but we're actually heading this way to where a bunch of the Warao are actually gathered to sell some artesian goods. So we just got done purchasing a couple local goods. I actually got these like I don't know what you exactly call these, but where you stick like hot items, hot pans in the middle of a table. Pretty cool. I got a few for my grandma because she goes crazy for things like this. But man, it's really, really sad to see how bad the lack of tourism has affected the local communities. I mean, look at all of these families that have come out here since early this morning to put out all of their goods just for us. It's pretty intense, pretty sad to see, and hopefully things get better. Anyways, right now we're about to hop back onto the boats, make our way back over to the lodge, and hang out for the next few hours before we start fishing for piranhas. So guys, we just made it back, and I thought we were gonna have a bit of time to relax, but turns out that we're actually about to dive on into some piranha fishing, which I'm really, really excited about. Right now, our guides are handing out a few just very simple sticks with some fishing line and a hook. Let's see if we get lucky out here today on the Orinoco. So unfortunately, I didn't catch anything while fishing for piranhas. Luckily, we weren't fishing for our dinner or else I wouldn't be eating anything tonight. Anyways, right now we're about to head back over to the main dock here at the Orinoco Delta Lodge because we're about to start a canoe competition to see who can make it across the river and back first. Oh, it's about to get started. Competition time. Let's see who wins. This boat or this boat? Oh man, it's getting intense. Look at this. So they actually just got them flipping completely over in the river. They're making it pretty good, man. They look pretty stable. I don't know. This one's going to be a close one. This one's going to be extremely close. So there's actually two balls across the river. There's one pink one, one blue one. The team to the left has to grab the blue. Oh, they oh, grabbed the ball. ball. <laughs> <laughs> they won. And just like that guys, our weekend here at the Orinoco Delta Lodge has come to an end. I hope you guys enjoyed this incredible adventure that we've had here this weekend. Definitely, if you're planning a trip out to Venezuela, you have to visit the Rio Orinoco. It's extremely easy to get here. It's extremely comfortable and by far one of the best experiences I've had here in the country. Until next time, later guys. You are always my